All right, everyone, today you will land a 360. All right, everyone, so before we actually jump into the tutorial, I'm just gonna say this, a 360 is kind of more of a trick that it's else you do it or you don't do it. But to actually land it, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips and tricks there and there to kind of help the process to accelerate that so you guys obviously land 360 far more quicker. Now, first step is obviously a beautiful Smexy bunny hop. Here's an example. All right, so, you gotta make sure that you have a sweet bunny hop. The only reason why is simply more height, more time you got, more time you got simply means you will have an easier chance to land the trick. Now, let's jump into 360. What is the process of it and how does it work? So we're gonna do an example step by step how I personally do it. So let's do this everyone. All right, so we have a back view of this. So you guys can actually understand how I start my 360s. Now let's say if I am rolling, straight before i do my 360 the front wheel is going to slightly carve in once i'm carving in that's when you will start the hop the main reason why is whenever you carve your wheel you're going to have a lot of momentum you need a lot of momentum to land a 360 so that you, you don't land into a 270 or a 180. once you're into that curvature movement or how you guys want to call it that's when you go hop off the ground. Now, obviously, you want to get like a decent hop. So make sure to like bend your knees a little bit and then hop off. Now, you're not just going to simply hop off looking straight. The huge technique to 360 is when you are hopping off, you're going to go turn your head over your shoulder. So when you go, you roll, you turn, get that momentum. Once you have the momentum, you hop off, turn your head as much as you can you're going to spin and try to fix a point. Like at the beginning, when you're trying to learn 360, try to find yourself a point in the background where you want to look at. If you write goofy, it's the same process. It's simply the other way around. Up regular, you're going to go, turn, look towards the other side, and simply get momentum, spin around, and you are going to land it. 360 is a little bit complicated, but trust me, just keep doing it, keep doing it. If you have a hard time, do it off of, of a kicker so you have a little bit more of air, but like, trust me, once you have it, it's gonna be super simple. And one last technique that I could give you guys is, back then when I used to do my 360 is, I would put my front foot as a way to use the bars and make sure that it stays together. Because I know some people when they do 360s, they're gonna send it and they're also gonna slip off their scooter or something else. Anyway. Here's a couple of examples of a 360 so you guys can further understand what I mean. As you guys can see, I carved in my wheel. Once I had my wheel carved in, that's when I hopped off the ground, turned my head over my shoulder, and simply spun. Like I said, it's one of those tricks where you got a full send to it or you simply will never get it. Now obviously, practice is key. Keep practicing. I hope these tips helped you land 360 anyway feel free to leave a thumbs up subscribe and check out my other youtube videos everyone